Now listen closely. Here's a little lesson in Planet Modding Etiquette. There are a couple of mods who don't quite follow the rules. It's time we talk about them, shall we? So for the most part, I want to get through this video without mentioning too many names. <coughs> but there are a couple of rules we must establish before we can start. Now we're going to start by listing off the positives. These are the things that you should be doing when developing a planet mod. Be respectful, original, creative, and don't be afraid to try something new. And on the other side of that, um, here are the don'ts. Don't reinvent the wheel copy or steal other people's assets without asking for permission to use them first. Most people have probably realised by now that this is not a serious video, but for those who are lured into a false sense of formality by my English accent, you'll be disappointed to realise only now that although this video might be a joke, it is a fairly accurate representation of the planet modding scene as a whole today. And quite evidently, quite a few planet mods have quite a bit of trouble following these rules lately, and here are a couple of examples of what those rules kind of entail. Space Engine is a good example of low effort content when used incorrectly. It's brilliant as a learning tool when making your first planet mod, but the textures it exports are not suited for KSP. Over the years, there have been an increasing amount of mods that have many of these planets, and it shows that the author cares more about quantity than quality. It's bad practice since a space engine planet requires little skill to develop. Although I did this in the past, there are a handful of mods that continue this practice to this day, and the lack of effort shows. Oh, let's try something else! Now watch and learn, here's the deal! Now there's a new mod coming up, and honestly I really didn't want to put it in this video because it doesn't really deserve the publicity, but here's an example of reinventing the wheel. You can see here that this mod advertises high resolution textures, but if we head over to Graphics Enhancement Assembly, which is a, a mod that definitely doesn't deserve publicity, we see the same story there as well. You see, these are all variations of the original mod Astronomer's Visual Pack. You'll find the same textures in the other two, and in the end, the only thing that changes between these mods is the damn cloud height. Because we keep seeing the same story over and over again in this modding community, it's better to just stick with the main three visual packs that we've seen from the beginning. Astronomer's Visual Pack, Stock Visual Enhancements, and Spectra. They have all had weeks of work poured into them, and they definitely deserve the publicity that this video might bring them. <laughs> what are you doing? Now, here's the good stuff. Copying other people's assets usually winds you up in big boy trouble. But in all seriousness, there's not really much to say about this. Stealing someone else's assets and claiming you did all the work is like marrying someone who already has a child. In the planet body community, this is considered a dick move. And Squad's guilty of this too. I've mentioned before, but I will do so again, that Kerbin is literally the Libnoid's example planet. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found that quite entertaining, and there is a bit of an element of truth in there as well. But uh, if you did like it, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs>